Good morning. How are you? Welcome to my. Am I supposed to say welcome to my YouTube channel? Anywho, this is a thought that I had to spin through my mind as I woke up this morning. Um, I was having a conversation with one of my very good friend, and um, we were talking about relationship as we all talk about it from time to time. And, you know, um, if you follow me on, on Instagram, you will know, um, last year, it's been almost a year now, um, I ended my 17 year relationship, marriage, and, um, I walked away because it was time, um, it was just a lot of BS. Um, and I have three daughters. So it's kind of like, you know, so I'm saying to myself, girl, it's time to walk away from this bullshit. So I did. And the conversation I was having with my friend was about all the, um, so on Instagram, my DM is absolutely crazy. I get a lot of women <clears throat> that send me messages that are going through all manner of hell in their marriages and relationships. So some I've spoken to, and it just breaks my heart what people are going through and what people are dealing with. And you know, um, someone has someone said they they can't get away right now can't get out of the relationship because they have um a special needs kid and then another woman she can't get out because she's not working and she doesn't have money and that just really breaks my heart so as i was talking to my friend and i'm saying you know i'm taking in all of this emotions and feelings and energy from my people my community that i've built on Instagram and I feel very helpless. It's like, what, what can I do? How do I help? And she said something that was very powerful and said, it's hard for you to, to give advice. You can't really, you cannot really hold someone's hand to get out of a marriage because it's a process. Not until they are absolutely a thousand percent ready to get out. There's nothing you can do. And sometimes people get out and go back. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's just the process that you have to go through. So I'm saying to her, it's like, then what do we do? Like, women are suffering. And she said the most powerful thing and said, the ones who are in it, there's nothing you could do. But you can prepare the next generation of women, the younger ones, before they get into the relationship, before they start having the little boyfriends, the... You know, like the 25-year-olds or the ones in their 20s, before they commit to um a man, all the stuff that they need. Yo, sorry, my voice. <clears throat> I I just woke up. I still got somebody next to me sleeping. So, like, so yes, yeah, so, so she was saying that we just need to prepare the next generation. Tell them what they should and should not do. It's more like advice. Yes, it's not going to all work or perfect. But at least we can give them t tips and tools of what to look out for, what to do, what not to do. And how to um, how to go about things or share our experiences. You know, share it with them. And I'm like, that, that is amazing, you know. Um, so... I think I'm going to start sharing what, maybe a few tips here and there, things that you need to, you need to do. There are no guarantee that it's going to work, but at least I will, what I would love, let me say this, what I would love is I have an amazing community on Instagram and I'm hoping and believing that they will come and hang out here on YouTube so we can have those long, lengthy conversations Come in here. Let's talk about it. Let's, um, in the, in the DMs, 
not in the DMs. I'm sorry. I always say the DMs on Instagram. In the comments, you know, if you can please do me a favor, leave um, a piece of advice. What a young girl or young lady that is looking to get into, um, into marriage, looking to get into long-term relationship, partnerships, and all of that. What are the things that you think they should look out for? I would love to share that with them, you know. So they get in the comments and they can read. Or if you guys have any other questions or topics or something that you want me to discuss, please leave it in the comment section. And I will read through them. And we'll come back and we'll have all this discussion. We can turn it into a series of just um, looking out for the next generation. Because it's in like, you know, Nigerian people... Who say you know the advice person that is in love you know if somebody's in love it's hard to to start to give them advice and you know tell them what what to do or what not to do but the person that is about to get into a relationship and if they don't take the advice and you know life is a journey and it's full of experiences and they don't take the advice and they still go right ahead and get into it but at least we know there's nothing we could do you know but at least we know we have helped in our only two way. Let's give tips. Let's give advice, tools, whatever it is that you have done. That for the people that are still in a wonderful, strong marriage, what is it that you you're doing that have, that have kept your marriage? You know, whatever advice that you have, whatever tips and tricks, let us try our best to help the next generation. Okay. All right. Well, please do me a favor. Um, hit the subscribe button that is going to help my channel grow and also just share it as well let somebody know that i'm on here doing this youtube and um sharing a little bit more thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you on the next one all right i'll talk to y'all later bye Mwah.